And so our Enterprise and Supply Development Program really seeks to say, how do we start to support enterprises and uh, some of those that are suppliers, but how do we start to, start to support them such that we can then be able to see them grow and see their entrepreneurs be able to start to take advantage of opportunities that are within the market, but also be able to say, I've got a partner in a financial services provider such as African Bank, who understands me as an entrepreneur, who understands the business I'm in, but who also is willing to walk this journey. So the ESD program that African Bank is doing, um, I think it has the ability to change significantly the amounts of employment that, that, that you see. There's, there's a lot of information around the impact that SMEs have, but specifically if you think about an organisation like African Bank, we, we employ some 3,500 people um, and, and certainly that's a good contribution. But if we found a way to support 50 or 60 SMMEs, each of them employing 50 to 100 people, that, that impact is multiplied and, and the, the exponential growth that you could get out of that I think makes real difference far more than a, a large corporate ever could. So what we want to do is to be a great platform for startups not just to launch their business but to find great commercialization, investor readiness and actual sustainability and thriving to be global brands. I'm very excited to be on this journey. Everything that has been spoken is very inspiring and looking forward to you know, taking this partnership to, to greater heights. Thank you very much. African Bank chose to go on a path of saying that we're going back to our heritage. We were founded by entrepreneurs who came together. We today as African Bank want to reclaim that heritage, want to go back to our roots 